So let's go to Los Angeles. Oh, let's go to Virginia. And we're going to talk to L.A. from Virginia. Hi, L.A. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Hi. Sorry for the confusion. It's so, awesome to meet you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, awesome to meet you, too. <laughs> so, sweetheart. I, I, I feel like I'm a groupie or something. So it's, it's just well, really you know, cool. uh, <laughs> you're all that's left of me. So, so. <laughs> I am at least a groupie. So, so, so let's um, please read your email. Okay. okay. Katie, my stress usually comes from worrying about money. As I do the work, I'm finding peace a lot quicker, but I still stress each mo month when I can't pay the rent on time. I was having painful stomach aches each time, and one of your facilitators, Celeste, kindly helped me to see that the physical pain was trying to tell me something. For a while, I would pray like crazy, asking God and the universe for help. When I ask and don't get what I'm asking for, it's very painful. But I'm afraid to do just nothing and let go of the control that I seem to think I have. Stressing also makes it seem like I'm actually doing something. Um, with, with Celeste's help, I realized that my thoughts were causing the physical pain. I thought I had dealt with those thoughts, and when they kept nagging me, I was pushing them aside. So now I'm sitting with my thoughts and listening better. Anyway, it occurred to me that when I pray or write down goals, that I'm in God's business or the universe's business. Am I out of my business by demanding that my rent gets paid on time? Am I in the universe's business by feeling I've done everything in my power and asking what the hell? I am now trying to go with the flow and be at peace but I feel a little lost without my old job of praying and begging for things to go my way. I guess my main question would be, is there a point to prayer and to making goals for what we want in life? There's a big point to prayer. It's, it, it's like, God, help me pay the rent. Please, God, help me pay the rent. So God should help you pay the rent. Is it true? No. So I'm just leaving a little space here for you to consider. To really consider. I'm, I'm considering God should help me pay the rent. Is it true? It always feels like you should because I feel like... Okay, now that's not inquiry. Okay. <laughs> that um, is discussion. It's not right or wrong. It's just that, you know, just notice that thought and go back to the question. God should help me pay the rent. Is it true? No. Notice how you react when you believe God should help you pay the rent. Notice what happens when you believe that. I get very angry. And um I question everything. I wonder what I did wrong. You become um, guilty. Am I being punished? Um, I don't ask for much. <laughs> um, yeah, so we become a beggar. Frustrated. We become guilty. We. How do I react when I believe the thought? I get to see, you know, how I put it all onto God. And where God's falling short and telling him what to do and telling him, What's best and dictating where his money should go and or hers, whatever your God is to you. 
and I'm just, you know, I'm into God's pocketbook, <laughs> into his bank account. I'm just, <laughs> you know, but that doesn't stop me. And then, so just right here, right now, right here, right now, who are you without the thought God should pay the rent? It's kind of a scary one. Um, it is if you put a future on it. So just right here, right now, yeah. who would you be without the thought, God should pay my rent. God should help me pay my rent. Who would you be without uh, I would, being that dictator? <laughs> I would be somebody who likes God <laughs> at the moment. Um, I would be at peace. Um, I would, I would not be afraid to look at more opportunities and try to find ways to pay the rent. Okay. Um, so now, now let's look at who would you be without the thought, God, you'd help me pay the rent. Just notice that you're sitting, that there's a roof over your head. You're not too, you don't look too hot or too cold. No, pretty comfortable. Are you okay? Just right okay. now. That's all we're looking at, just right now. It's hard to stay in just right now. Oh, but that's okay because this is where, you know, this is, this is where, you know, th this is where the gift is. This is what's given. People whose rent is paid can't have the comfort you're experiencing, the grace. They're not aware of the grace you're experiencing right now. They're so into the future and how am I going to pay next month's rent? Well, I've got it. Now how am I going to pay the next six months' rent? So we're not here now noticing that everything you want If your rent was paid, you have everything you want right here, right now. And then once the rent's paid, then I go on to the next want. So, <laughs> but you're right. Um, even when I, I was really stressed and I could feel the pit in my stomach and I was able to bring myself back to just where I'm at right now, instead of envisioning myself out, out on the street um, at a homeless shelter, I'm here, <laughs> and, and the roof is over my head, and I'm very comfortable. Yes, yes, um, you are. And I'm talking to Katie. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so now, imagine yourself in a homeless shelter. I can do that pretty easy. Um, so God should, so are you sitting? Imagine yourself sitting in a homeless shelter. So other than what you're thinking and believing, are you okay? Other than what I'm thinking and believing, yes. So the worst that can happen is what you're thinking and believing with or without your rent pay. I would love that you have this under all conditions. I would love that the entire world have this beyond all apparent conditions in your head. That it takes sitting and listening in the silence. And notice how those false images of future would just like a tidal wave, just wipe away this peace that does not surpass all understanding, as they say. Mm -hmm. 
You understand where it is. You understand how to find it. I need God to help me pay my rent. Turn it around to the self. What is the opposite of I need? Um, I don't need God to pay my rent. I don't need God to help me pay my rent. Okay, now give me an example of why that's true. Um, because this is what I was thinking at the beginning of the month, and today I did get my rent paid, finally. Okay, um, that's one. Um, give me another example. God should not help okay. me pay my rent, ever. Um, I mean, poor God, we're all putting these demands <laughs> on Jeez, rolling around heaven all day is not on it. <laughs> I mean, in the spirit of the season, give him a break. You know, I'm just, it's, it's, give me another example. I don't need God. I mean, I don't need God to help me pay my rent. Um, I'm not sure because I'm never actually not sure. If he did help me pay my rent. Very good. So I think you're on to something. I don't think I get all the credit or any of the credit. Could be you're really on to something. You know, um, it's a friendly universe. I mean... All suffering is in the past. How friendly is that? Very. <laughs> and no other than what, and, <laughs> and no matter what you're thinking and believing, you're okay. You have that. You may not remember it, but it's there. <laughs> Just the fact that you could see it tells you it's always been there. You're just listening. You're just realizing you're getting still in this grace that people refer to this this the, the grace of God, where there are no wants that aren't filled in the moment. There are no needs that are not filled in the moment. There are no shoulds or shouldn'ts that are not found in the moment. It's all here for you, just to notice. I need God to pay my rent. Can you find another turnaround to help me pay my rent? Um, I need to pay my rent. I need me to need help me. To I need me to help me pay my rent. So get when you get really still, it'll come to you. And whether your rent gets paid or not, you've always got a home, even if it's on the street. When you're home in yourself, you're so clear. You have enough sense to get out of the rain when it's raining. Everything you need to know is there. Unlike the you who has their rent paid and is fearful of the future. Because if you don't get this here, you're, you know, we all get it. Nice that we can get it while we still think we're alive <laughs> and I have another turnaround God should help me pay the rent another turnaround I should help me pay God's rent and if that doesn't work for you I should help God pay my rent and I don't know if those two have any meanings for you all of you listening these turnarounds, you just find opposites, you sit in them, and you just, we meditate on them. We're not looking for solutions to life here. How am I going to pay my rent? Oh, I better do a turnaround. It's not like that. You know, it's, it's a gift, like, you know, the season of giving. It's a gift. You, you get silent, and you witness what comes to you when you're doing this work. It's... It's a gift. It, it, it's a gift. And as long as you believe in time or you're experiencing time, 
these holidays at their most wonderful. You can have that every moment of your life. And if you're not experiencing that, you understand how to get there, where it's the real deal. It's simple inquiry and listening. And I so appreciate, Virginia, how your ability to get still and and to look at what's available to you out of the fear. You know, you can leave that fear long enough to answer these questions, and that's a gift. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, if 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 this were your if being homeless were your, were your only your only way home, would you take it? I'm talking about real home. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sometimes yeah. that's our path. And I'm okay. willing to be homeless. I look forward to being homeless. And homeless to me is when I'm not present in myself. I'm in a past or future. We can have thoughts of past and future. It's different than believing that it's real. But if, if I'm believing anything past and future going on in my head now, I'm not home. Makes a lot of sense. So I'm never homeless. And if I'm homeless, I know how to come home. And sweetheart, no one can take this gift away from you. No one but you. Yeah. So let it be holidays every moment. <laughs> Thank you, Virginia. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Katie. You're very welcome. <laughs>